Police say a 16 year old student has been arrested for attempted murder and sexual assault of their teacher at the high school. Metro Police investigators say the student went into the classroom to talk about grades with the teacher before reportedly punching and strangling her. Now we do have team coverage this evening. Let's go right to our reporter Sean Delancey who has more on this investigation. Sean. Yeah, Paulie, and many of the students that we talked to here at Eldorado High School had no clue what had happened until our reporting began this afternoon. One student that we talked to said that he saw a flood of police cars at the school during practice and was stunned at the news. Metro Police say that a 16 year old student was talking with a teacher about his grades after school when he became violent, then punched and strangled the teacher to unconsciousness. Police say that another staff member later found the teacher and she was rushed to UMC trauma. The student was found in a nearby neighborhood where he was arrested and charged with attempted murder, sexual assault, kidnapping and robbery. Student Hassan Goff says that he was practicing basketball when it happened. I was thinking it was like a shooting or something like something else, but it was just crazy that that happened because like you don't just think like a teacher or a student would do that to a teacher. Now with spring break starting Monday, the Clark County Education Association Teachers Union is calling on district officials for quick action to ensure this never happens again. Things like fixing cameras, controlling entry points for students, and maybe even installing panic buttons in classrooms. CCEA President Marie Nysis says one solution is staring the district right in the face. I think it always comes down to whether or not we have enough resources. We clearly don't. We don't have enough staff members. We don't have enough social workers. We do not have enough campus uh, monitors or school police, you know, who are ready to to uh, respond to things like this. Now, Superintendent Jesus Jara says that the investigation into what happened here at El Dorado High School is now in Metro Police's hands. And we also talked with one of the students here who says that he had this teacher uh, at, during his junior year. And you will be hearing from him coming up at 11 o'clock tonight. For now, in East Las Vegas, I'm Sean Delancey. John, thank you. And Superintendent Jesus Jara sent this letter to staff and it reads in part, quote, I am devastated and the CCSD family hurts for the teacher assaulted at El Dorado High School. Our hearts are heavy because of the violence committed against her and we pray for her full recovery. And a letter was also sent to parents and it reads in part, quote, I want to take a moment to thank our staff who helped respond to the terrible situation and helped a colleague in need. We are doing everything possible to support our students, staff and community. Like she wasn't expecting it, and especially around this area, a lot of the teachers try to sympathize with these kids' home lives because they are difficult. Um, and you'll never know how a student reacts because of the way they were raised or like the way that they just kind of um, have learned to react to certain situations. So to see them kind of go ahead and be like, oh, well, this, this is my response. They're not going to expect that. Um, it's something that I don't think any teacher is kind of trained to expect.